This series of training videos will teach you how to properly use your TurboTap products in a way that maximizes the benefit to your venue and facilitates the pouring of draft beer. Let's begin. Once your draft beer area has been set up for the turbo taps, you will need to know how to prep and install them after they have been removed. The first step is to do a visual inspection of your faucets and turbo taps to ensure they are all clean. Once the cleanliness of the faucets and the taps is confirmed, you will proceed to install them. The first step is to wet the top of your turbo taps and beer to lubricate the O-rings on the inside and facilitate the installation. After the turbo tap is wet, you will proceed with the installation. You now grasp the turbo tap firmly in one hand while placing the other above the faucet for support. Slide the turbo tap onto the faucet while twisting slightly clockwise and counterclockwise. You will feel in your hand when your faucet goes through the first O-ring. You will then have to push harder until you feel the second O-ring engage. If you are installing SL turbo taps, the ones with screw locks, you can select to tighten the screw locks down. There is no need to over tighten these. You now know how to install the TurboTap. If you need to remove it, just reverse the installation process. The most important thing to know when using your TurboTap is how to pour properly. Improper use of the product will not yield the perfect pour you're looking for. Before your first pour, it is helpful to chill your TurboTaps with a glass of ice water for roughly 5 to 10 seconds so that it is the same temperature as the beer. This will allow for even the first pour to be a good one. The first type of pour we will review is the standard pour. This is used when the turbo tap reaches the bottom of your glass or pitcher. To pour the perfect glass of beer, you bring the glass to the desired faucet and raise it until the turbo tap touches the bottom of the glass. Once you have reached this position, grab the handle from the bottom and quickly snap the tap fully open to minimize foaming. Don't worry, the beer will not flow too fast. Trust the TurboTap. In many cases, your TurboTaps will not be long enough to reach the bottom of all of your glassware pitchers. When this happens, we will use the modified pour. This pour begins just like the standard pour. You bring your glass or pitcher Place it below the desired faucet. You then raise it as high as it will go. Once you reach the maximum height, turn the glassware or pitcher on an angle so that the turbo tap touches the side. You then begin the pour. When the tip of the turbo tap is under the beer, you will straighten the glassware or container and finish the pour in this manner. When you're pouring pitchers, the process is exactly the same. Even while using the TurboTap, you might have some issues with particular servings, beers, or kegs. These issues are basically two, excess foam or not enough. Luckily, there are remedies to minimize the impact of both. When your beer has too small an amount of foam, you can fix it by quickly lowering the glass so that the TurboTap comes out of the beer and then is putting it back in. This will enable you to create the collar that you're looking for.
when you have too much foam. You can fix it by turning the glassware at a slight angle. You then open the faucet all the way, as always, and spill the excess foam. Every day at the close of business, you should rinse each turbo tap by dipping it in a glass of clean seltzer water. After the dip, you will dry it and place the turbo cap on. You are now fully trained on how to use the turbo tap. We thank you for your time. Enjoy pouring perfect beer.